Hi everyone, in this video, I will show you how to configure the sticky navigation in our theme. Sticky navigation provides a seamless user experience, encourages deep site navigation, and helps visitors easily find the products and services they need. First of all, we need to define the menu and theme settings. Sticky navigation. In the Select Menu field, set the menu that you want to use for the sticky navigation. Now let's configure our menu via Appearance, Menus. Here's our selected menu, but as you can see, it's empty. Let's add some product categories to our menu. After adding a menu item, you can see that there are not enough fields. In this case, you need to resave the menu to see all the options of the menu item. For our sticky menu, we're going to add an additional HTML block as a dropdown. To do that, we need to change the design to full height. The width will be 270 pixels, and the padding will be 20 pixels. In the HTML block for the dropdown field, we should define our HTML block that will be shown as a dropdown. Load HTML dropdown with Ajax. This feature enables loading the HTML block through Ajax, which is particularly useful when the HTML block contains a large amount of content that loads the page. In such cases, that feature can help reduce the load. For other items, we are going to do the same. Additionally, to ensure the proper functioning of our sticky navigation, each menu item should have an image defined. Now let's check our sticky navigation. And here's the result. Our sticky navigation is shown. By default, it has such a title. We have the ability to change it in theme settings. The title field defines the new title for our sticky navigation. Let's call it Categories. Now we have our own title for the navigation. The bottom content allows us to add an additional information to the bottom of the sticky navigation. It's usable if you want to add some sort of contact information. We also have the sticky navigation element in the header builder. Let's open the front end mode for the header builder and define it. The display area allows us to set either only an icon or an icon with text. Also, let's change the icon design and its color. Icon type. By default sets the default burger menu, but you can upload your own icon too. The extra options include the open on mouse event option. If this option is enabled, it shows an additional option. Close menu on mouse leave. Now we can see that we have an appropriate button in the header, which triggers our menu. 